The world is a vampire. Sent to drain. Secret destroyers. Hold you up to the flames. And what do I get? First, check out my hair. Who says you can't be fantastic? I may be a six on a scale of one to ten, looks wise. Just because I'm not hot or attractive doesn't mean I can't be one sexy son of a bitch, which I am. This hair at least brings me to a six and a half. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to smash the thumbs up before we get into it. We're going on to phase two. What is phase two? What is plan B? I'm not talking about birth control. We're talking about belt squats, sumo deadlifts. I'm going to try to rev up the volume on my deadlifts, take away squats. I'm handling them okay, but my back just won't hang. So now we're gonna do belt squats to make sure I can still build up the quads. It's almost summertime, we gotta let the teardrop breathe. And then uh, sumo deads, see if I can handle the volume I want for perhaps a deadlift competition. If not, we're going full aesthetics bras. So next four weeks will tell us. Come here, you trying to be in the video? Come on. No? Alright, I'm not going to be in the video then. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the workout. I guess it's time to talk life. Talking life. Loud life with Silent Mike. It's a, what do they say, a working title? Work in progress. No, I think it's a working title, isn't it? Yeah, working title. <clears throat> working title. Uh, Instagram, Twitter. Did I run a poll on here, or I just talked about it in the comments? Some interest, some ideas, seeds planted, but possibly looking at the daily vlog life. Letting you guys into my world to always be fitness, because fitness is a huge part of my life. There will always be tidbits of instruction, but uh, letting you guys in on what I consider an awesome life. I'm a lucky boy. Um, I'm in transition. Can you say that in 2018? Still makes sense. Still be PC. I'm in transition uh, for the last three years, if you guys can believe that. Um, I've been looking uh, to purchase a home. And uh, purchasing a home is a hell of a process. More, probably not more of a process than I expected, but it's been more of a process for me than I expected. Overall, it's a difficult process, but for me, it hasn't, it's been extra difficult because going from, um, having a job and then being self-employed and then having multiple businesses, um, how you purchase a home or get a loan for a home through that process is complicated. When you just have a job, you work for the state or you work for a company, it's fairly straightforward. You either grab a broker or you go straight to a loan, uh, bank and you grab a loan, they tell you how much you get, you put down an offer, you throw down your down payment and then you pay off that loan. Um, coming for you, bro. Um, but when you work for yourself and have a couple different like tax forms because of the businesses um, filing for a loan is more difficult because they don't for some reason in America our bank system they don't trust someone who works for themselves as much as if you work for somebody else and making your money where personally I trust myself more than anything else so long story short I've been looking for a house online um, and in person, going to open houses and things for two and a half, three years. But the process is coming to a close. Uh, I have not chosen a house or anything yet, but I have kind of multiple houses that I'm considering a little more deeply uh, now that my loan and taxes and things are more done. Once you get your tax form back, then you can kind of just prove, like, this is what I make and this is... Um, then the bank comes back and says, this is a loan they'll give you. So... Um, waiting for that exact process to happen in the next couple weeks here, and then it's time to time to throw down and move. Um, the transition is uh, one. This handsome devil behind the camera is graduating college. 
So we're going to try to move him up here to update and to push even more content down your throat. Put my face all over the internet. Uh, I've talked about starting Twitch for a long time, so I've been waiting to get to this new house to get a better setup. So I can get better internet and actual like a desk to set up, where before I was just running it through my TV. Two, having Connor live with me, we'll be able to um, put out videos a little bit more, not more consistent because we're pretty damn consistent, but a couple more. Um, and uh, so that's why we're thinking five to even seven videos a week. A little more daily life stuff because I, I just get caught up writing my own emails and things rather than filming myself. With him around, it'll be a little bit easier to show you guys my life and find some fun and adventures. Do you want to tell them the real reason? What, like YouTube? Yeah. It's up to you. I don't think we need to. I don't know. We can. I, I think that's just better. Uh, uh, that maybe fitness is on the decline. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, like Connor just said, there's multiple reasons. One, I'm always working on putting out the best and most content I can because I think it's fun uh, and I want to share my experience in life with you. Um, so, you know, fitness stuff here on YouTube, talk and lifestyle stuff on podcast, video game and talk stuff on Twitch, but also... Um, you know, YouTube goes through stuff left and right, algorithms and this and that. So, like, fitness YouTube as a whole is declining. I don't know if that's because of their algorithm or because they want or just interest in life. So, um, vlogging, daily vlogging, one, I think I have the potential uh, to be entertaining and to live a cool life. I do live a cool life. Uh, and so, I want to share that with you. And two, uh, it's because the direction of YouTube's going. I ain't got a front player. I'm going to tell you guys how it is. So, we're going to try to do that grow the channel a little bit, grow our awesome community that we already have, grow a little community on Twitch, whether it be some of you or a whole new crowd, um, just to hang out with, share experiences, share some jokes and some kill streaks on Black Ops 4 with. Um, but right now, this is my home. Uh, we moved my mom out of my childhood home. Uh, for those that do or do not know, my dad passed away a couple years ago. Uh, and so my mom was left in a very big house. Um, all by herself. And that's why we got big Cassius where he's running around here to kind of protect her. Um, and then now we downsized her a little bit. So uh, she's still local to me, but she's in a smaller house. And while my loan stuff is going through, I uh, stole her guest room. So all my shit is literally in boxes in a room in this house, just waiting for my loan to go through to get a house. And then I'm literally not unpacking here even. It's literally transition. Transition house means when you're going from like rehab, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is like my transitional house, but not a transition <laughs> house. I don't have any issues besides caffeine right now. I mean, I have lots of issues, but no substance issues. So my shit's in boxes in there. Literally not unpacking it, just pulling out clothes that I need. Um, yeah. So that's that's the update. There's a life update. Comment below. Vlog's coming. We're going to clickbait the shit out of this. You're welcome. Fuck me, haters. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Dr. Disrespect. I'll fucking dunk on your ass. I need you guys to go troll him. I'll dunk all over that fool. He's got no idea. He's got a 36-inch vert. Yeah, the fuck right off fucking 40-inch vert right on his fucking dome. Posterize him. You guys want a doc poster? What else I got? House process is exciting but stressful. Diet's good. Workout's good. Excited to... Get a little bit closer. Uh, I've kind of always lived in the suburbs, so excited to get closer to downtown where there's more like mom and pop coffee places, more mom and pop um, restaurants, more shit going on, more places I can bike ride and just walk rather than drive everywhere. Show you guys downtown Sac. I like Sacramento. It's my home. I love it. I'm trying to get more involved in the community too. I got some ideas here that we'll do on the vlog. So, subscribe, thumbs up. The future is bright, my friends, brighter than the sun, even though it's 100 million miles away and Elon Musk is going to fly us there. Someone hated on my choices to be interviewed. What do you mean? Remember we talked about top three people interv people I want to interview? Oh, yeah. What did I say? Zuckerberg, because all the drama. Elon Musk, because he's Iron Man. And then Kanye. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Who would they interview? Yeah, I mean, like Trump or something? Like, that's fine. I don't want to talk to that dude. He's got nothing cool to say. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video.